My name is Andesio Mbelekane. I'm 17 years old, doing grade 12 at Roma High School. And I'm one of the Youth for Safety Communities facilitators. Roma Township, it's a fortunate township here in Port Elizabeth. Still, there, there's a bad side of my township, especially the high rate of crime. It was a Sunday morning. We woke up to the most traumatizing and shocking news of our lives. Cindy Kamanda was raped and murdered and was dumped here. She was 16 and was still doing grade 11. She had dreams just like any other teenage girl, but the unkind and inhuman act of crime and violence take her away from us. That pain and Trauma was an unbearable experience for us as the Masifunde family. The Cindy story kind of opened our eyes and made us realize that crime is a big matter and we should tackle it. So Masifunde came up with a strategy. So they created a project uh, in partnership with GIZ and German organization whereby we will alert and create awareness to the young people of Port Elizabeth along the whole metro. Us as the Masifunde participants will be acting as facilitators. We went to a summer camp whereby we were actually shown how an idea how the, the, the workshops could run. And at the camp we also did research about the topic, we went deep into the topic crime, what are the, uh, uh, the causes of it. And we went back and did research about the areas here in Port Elizabeth. They've been protected, we're looking at society level now. Ne? What could be a protective factor there? Yeah, a more logical, legal framework. See, so, we as the youth should work together, sink or swim, fight the fight, so that we all stand together. Our wish is to be the best, the best there is, the, the best, best there was, was, and the, the best, best ever. ever. I'm 19 years old, I live in Woma location. I finished my matric last year at the class of 2013. I am one of the Youth for Safer Communities facilitator. My name is Lihele Kudase, and I'll be turning 18 years old this year. And I'll also be doing my first year at NMMU and studying environmental science. I am also one of the Youth for Safer Communities um, facilitators. Uh, well, from the summer camp, the most important impression was basically um, getting to know the framework of what we're going to do for the workshops and the test rounds for the workshops, mm -hmm. which were quite intensive because it was something new and something that we hadn't done before, and it was a new experience. It impressed me when people, when we got together, people like basically they knew that, they knew the area very well and then when we kept talking about the, um, the different areas of former township, you'd find that certain areas kept on coming up and coming up, so it means that this area wasn't very, that, wasn't that safe. Well, safety mapping was an activity that was done um, during the workshops and that we also carried out during our own workshops. Um, basically, safety mapping entails um, our participants basically drawing up an area where they live and then they indicate the places that they feel safe in and the places that they don't feel safe in. So it wasn't just my opinion that counted of the area that I lived in, but also the opinions of others. And when I got to see and realized um, their own experiences of the area, I basically had a different perception of the place that I live in, yeah. 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 Yeah.
The first workshop was nerve wracking for all of us because we didn't know what to expect. We actually were all nervous and anxious about it. And when it came to like deciding who was going to be the main facilitator for a day, none of us volunteered and we had to be like chosen for the job, yeah. I'm starting to get nervous, they're so freakishly tall, they're intimidating me, I'm so scared. <gasps> oh my Gucci! Oh. Nervous now, a little bit now. Uh, I can see, but yeah, I am nervous, yeah. No! Not at all! No! No! Well prepared! Well prepared! Well prepared! I'm just gonna do that. Perfect scene! <laughs> Perfect scene! Go to Nest! Go to Nest! Okay guys, uh, as most of you know me, Kamala Musa is Usiwe, but you can call me Usiwe. But now I'm just going to get a little so that we can play an introduction game, event in Kaza Lemo about what we're going to do today. Uh, thank you very much, Usiwe. Uh, uh, we have a wonderful uh, food. It's a cool feel safe in your community. Yeah, then. Then if man, I was sometimes you feel safe, safe, unsafe. So my upper gun down five. We grown as much, so you, when you go to your school, you know that. Okay, I know what I'm doing here. I'll basically you like you end up being more confident from our first workshop. Today I'm here because of the launch of the Masifunde Youth for Safer Communities program, which we are supporting with all of our heart and which we're very proud of. What we are trying to achieve is um, to work with all those stakeholders and actors that can make a contribution to safer communities in South Africa and to also support all those stakeholders who should make a contribution but who are not currently doing it maybe not yet or not as much as they could do or not as much as they should do. After the test run workshop at Pumahai, things got easier because now you got in the hang of things, you saw like we actually we saw where we made mistakes so like we rectified them through the other workshops and it was with other people so even if you made a mistake you'd only meet them once or twice <laughs> in a year because you'd meet them at their school and then at the conference. Yeah and we knew that we are the one with knowledge, we are the one who are passing the message and it was up to us to alert them and make them active on creating our community safe. And Lisa and I will be facilitators, and Lisa, Pelisa, and Manelisi will be our co facilitators. Yeah? When you hear the word youth for safety communities, what do you think it means? Like, what is youth for safety communities? Maybe youth doing something about social issues. Yeah. Yes, okay. Trying to get the youth of Port Elizabeth to work together in trying to prevent crime and work together in crime prevention. Yep. You can even write some Can you even write it? It doesn't matter as long as you'll be able to read it and say. Um, we've been like brainstorming and then we've just came up with the name um, YFB, Youth Fighting Back. And we'd like to not only work with the youth but also with the rest of the community and involve them. Um, what we're doing is we'd like to have a centre or a place where they have, like for old people, they can go there for knitting during the day, uh, dancing and with dancing and the youth expressing themselves through art and that way we can also create funds and have fundraisers with like talent shows and all of that. My name is Sanelisiwe. 
I go to Wuma High School. I'll be turning 16. I live here in Wuma Township. And my interests are debating, music and art. Um, the results of the workshops were basically project ideas. There were projects such as debating, debate clubs, where they debate about current, current issues which they are facing in their communities, or maybe starting a journalism group where they write about things that they face in their communities. Others came up with like out of this world really? <laughs> project ideas that are not really realistic so we had to narrow them down like project ideas such as soup kitchens we can't really do that as the youth we will need help from other people with more funds so mm -hmm. it's not really realistic so we came down to project ideas which do not really need much funding and project ideas which we can do ourselves as the youth. From the schools we got like plus minus 25 project ideas since we went to 25 schools and then at the conference we like pasted all of the projects um, on the wall and then everybody voted for the projects which they would like to implement at their school. Yeah, that's our main aim. It's what we want not only for Abantu, but for the chance for the team. But the ideas, we share. Yes, it's me. I don't have paint in my house. I don't have paint in my house. Yeah. 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 Who won't receive flyers? Who won't hear it via Facebook? Who won't hear it via Facebook? Just use no more flyers. Don't get angry I do like the idea. There's nothing wrong. Everything is just good. Then we came down to 10 ideas and then from the 10 ideas a person chose a project which they would like, like to be part of and then we presented the project which you chose to like head up. From the presentation of the 10 projects we narrowed it down to three. The finalists were the, um, the, dream, the drama for dreamers and it was also the debate and the empowerment with the youth come up and share their pro problems and like deal with them. And that's like there are lots of people who like feel and look at information. People are impressed and we are able to change their mindset because everyone thought Okay, as long as uh, as long as it's not happening to me, then it doesn't affect me. We all have a responsibility to to do. Whether you are a youth, a young person, um, parents, neighbors, or police. I realize that I'm not the only one who's facing this problem of crime. Everyone is facing it, but then we all react differently to it. So, like when we came together, we came up with different solutions to the problem so like it made the problem seem lighter and it made it seem like we can all like get rid of the problem if we all work together. Stay! 